two numbers now. So to get do that, how do you get rid of that minus 12 again? Add 12. Let's just add 12 to both sides. I get 6x equals positive 12. And our last step, ladies and gentlemen, is to do what? Divide. If we divide by 6, x equals 2. That's it. That's our answer. So even if you don't have two variables, one on each side, that's actually kind of easier for you. You just skip that step, get rid of your constant term, and then divide. Are you ready to try a couple on your own? Yeah. Sure. Okay, let's do that. Hey, by the way, I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to point something out to you. I see a lot of this when people are first learning how to do this, this uh, type of equation. I see a lot of, watch on the board. Put your pencil down for just a second. Just watch, okay? What I see a lot of is people confuse this step with combining like terms on this step. And they do something like this. They go, oh, okay. Well, if I have a 5a here, I'm going to subtract 5a from both of these things. Okay? I see that a lot. I see, or, or they think, well, I'm adding 5a here. That's what I want to do. But typically, it's the subtract. People subtract, and they go, that's, that's what I want to do. Is that what we want to do, do you think? No. Look at what this does. Look at, I want you to really understand the concept of your equations. You ready? Yeah. If that's an equation, look what you've done essentially. You've just subtracted 5a <laughs> twice yeah. from one side and no times from the other side. Do you see that? You've really overloaded one of these sides. This is not level. What you have to make it is, notice how these are on different sides. That's what we're looking for. In order to do this process correctly, you have to first combine your like terms. We can't start doing this nonsense because you're going to overload one side. Firstly, we go, okay, let's circle them, let's combine them, and then we can work like this. Do you see the difference between these two problems? Yes? Yeah. Okay, make sure we're, we're doing it the way we're, we're supposed to. Okay, go for it. Do that problem and I'll, ha I'll write one more up on the board over there.
به من رو بشه Did I stump you on this problem? I stumped some people. A little, a little bit. On some zeros, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What's going on with those zeros? Well, let's see. Hopefully you made it down that far. If you did, you know what you're doing. So if you know what you're doing, what you should be doing is combine some like terms. Did you combine some like terms? Yeah. Yes. Good. So this would give you the 9a minus 2. This would give you, we're just combining like terms here, folks. It's like you're ignoring this side for a second. You're combining your 4a and your 5a, you're getting 9a. You're ignoring this side. You're combining your 2a and your 3a, you're getting 5a. But in each case, we have minus 2. Raise your hand if you made it that far. Fantastic. The next thing you do, after we've combined like terms, which that's what we've done here, we're going to get rid of the smaller variable. What's the smaller one in this case? Five eight. Let's get rid of it. How do you get rid of it? So that's going to give me 4a equals negative 2. Now you're supposed to get rid of your constant term. Listen, no matter what you get after this, don't let it ruin your process. I swear the process is exactly the same no matter what equation you are working on. I promise. I told it to you. What you do is you combine like terms. You distribute if you have to. You get rid of the smaller variable. We've done that. You get rid of the constant term, you do that, and then you divide. That is always your steps every time, no matter what you have. Are you with me on this? Just follow that down. So when you get down to this step and you go, oh, wait a second, I'm supposed to get rid of this negative 2, true? And you go, I'm going to add 2 to it. And you go, well, this is clearly 4a, because those are gone. How much do I get over here? Zero. Negative 2 plus 2, that's 0. Is it okay to have a 0? Yeah, it's okay to have a 0. What are you going to do next? Divide. That's always your last step if you have a coefficient. But if you divide 0 by 4, a is going to be on the left-hand side. How much is 0 divided by 4? Zero. It's, just, it's not undefined. That would be if you divided by 0. You'll never have to divide by 0. Okay? If you have 0 divided by a number, here's what this says. I'll go through it the last time with you. If you have $0 and you spread it across four different bank accounts, how many dollars is in each bank account? Zero. There's nothing there. There's zero. This answer is zero. Zero divided by anything is zero. Does that make more sense to you now? Yeah. Let's work on the next one. Next one says, well, we got to distribute first. We're going to take 4x plus 12. Did you get 4x plus 12? Plus 1 equals 13. We'll combine some like terms. 4x plus 13 equals 13. And we have the same situation. If we subtract 13 on both sides, we are going to get 4x equals 0. Not the same 4x. Weird. If we divide by 4 again, we're still going to get x equals 0. So in our case, we got two zeros. It's OK to get zeros. It's OK to get fractions. We haven't really worked with a whole lot of fractions, but for right now, we're just going to leave them as, as fractions. Raise your hand if you're okay with these two examples. Good. Good. Hopefully you learned something there on that one. Now we'll try one more together, and then we'll start practicing a few more of these next time. We'll do a whole bunch of translating, and that'll be our, our class next time. So one more. I want your help with it, though. Let's see if we can work all the way through on one problem. We're put everything together. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Have some comments about it. You know how to do that stuff. Are you going to subtract 6 minus 2 first? No. no. Heck no. Can you do that? Yeah. yeah. That one? You can do that, right? Yeah. yeah. Now I'm just saying they're equal. It's going to be the same process we just did. Same process we've learned a long time about distributing, combining like terms. It's just now we have to do those things before we attempt to solve our equation. So can you tell me what is the first thing that we're going to do on this problem? Parentheses. Good. Parentheses means we're going to, what's that D word again? Distribute. Can you tell me what we're distributing in the first expression? Negative 2, Negative two times 3x. Good. It goes with the sign. So we're going to circle the number with that sign. 
Well, let's, let's be careful on this. Can you tell me slowly what's the first number I write? Six. 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 Well, six is going to be the first thing because I didn't change that. What's the next thing I write? Positive. 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 Negative six. Negative six. Negative six. 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 Good. Negative times a positive is a. Negative. Now, is it going to be plus two, minus two, plus one, minus one? Which plus one? Plus two. Plus, plus two. Plus two. We got to multiply. Mm -hmm. Negative times a negative gives us the plus. Two times one gives us two. Are you with me, folks? Yeah. That's a big one. This, actually, this is the part where people make a mistake. That's it. Usually this is right, this is right. The whole the other side's right. It's usually right here. If you get this part right, chances are you're going to get the problem right. This has to be plus two. Negative, negative, positive. On the right-hand side, now we have something we can really work with. What are we going to do now? Sure. So we're going to do our 8 from our 6 and our 2. We're going to do our 9 and our 5. We'll get 14 minus 3x. Then we're going to eliminate the smaller variable. Sure. Which is the smaller variable? Here's someone on the left-hand side of the room. What's the smaller variable? Perfect. We've got 8 equals 14. How much is negative 3x plus 6x? Good. We're almost done. Can you tell me what's the next thing we're going to do? Minus Good, that's our constant term. If we do subtract that from both sides. Negative 6 equals 3x. And last step, everybody, what's now? Divide. Divide. Good. If we divide by 3, how much are we going to get? Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with your homework so far. I'm pretty impressed you guys are catching on to this so far. You're doing really well. Do you feel like you're doing real well at this? Not on the last homework. Not on that one? Go back and look at it again. Is that the one that we're translating? Yeah. Yeah, that one's hard. That one's hard. How many feel okay with what we talked about today? Feel okay about it? Good. We'll practice more of this next time.